Day two of picking in Florida. I just pulled up to my first thrift store. It is a St. Vincent, St. Vincent Dip Hall thrift store. I've seen other people on YouTube go to these stores, but I have never been to one myself. So let's go check it out and see if we can find anything awesome to flip on eBay. This is super interesting, this little trinket box. It's made of brass and camera. The only reason I know that is because this little card inside says, I found one quite similar that sold for $25. This one obviously is priced at eight bucks, so I'm gonna leave it behind, but how neat is that? It says they burn it to get like this cool texture. So I'm just walking by and saw this Orvis tag sticking out. This is a really good brand, but to have them priced at 16 bucks. I can't see them being worth $16 for resale anyways. If it was personal, sure, especially with a little tech belt. That's a little score all up top there. All those little animated Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Old World Santa, and that traditions. Those are way too big. Like, those are the huge ones. Like, that's probably 24 inches tall. I've sold so many of those in the past, but I'm not shipping anything that big back home. There's some arm clouds. Does that mean eight bucks? Yeah, I guess eight dollars, or is that size eight? They're seven and a half, so I'm assuming that means eight bucks. Hmm. So those are not the original laces. They kind of just look a little dirty. They're really not overworn or anything. Hmm. That's tempting for eight bucks. So even though these are a men's seven and a half, I just found the same pair that sold for $55 plus shipping. Looks like there's three different pair of Minnetonka boots right here. The little uh, moccasins don't sell for very much at all anymore, but I still have really good luck selling the boots. I've sold this same exact pair for, I want to say, 50 bucks. These are really small, so they'd be easy to fit. 10 bucks? Are they all 10? Hmm. Tempting. Maybe I should look into this and see if they're still selling for 50 because that would fit quite nicely in the suitcase or to ship home. So there's tons of comps for these tall knee highs for in between 45 and like 50. I'm honestly considering it because look how small one of those rolls up into. So I'll make like 30 bucks profit if uh, the side of ship these. And they're in really good condition. And then these ones also have some really good comps for around 42. And are also in really good condition. So I think I'm gonna take those two and I think I'm gonna leave these ones behind. If I were at home, I would just go ahead and pick up all these because these are looking like they're selling for about 35 bucks. And I'm trying to really stick with the $30 minimum profit. So I think I'm gonna take these two Minnetonkas here and the on cloud so far. I really want to get out of this shoe off because it smells kind of questionable. And there's some pretty decent little Nakona cowboy boots also. I don't, they're not worth paying $15 for because I have to ship them home or haul them home and they're kind of big. So I'm going to leave them behind, but they're probably still like at least $40 boots. The last ones I sold were women's and they sold for 40 bucks. So I would think these being men's and they are really nice colors. Hmm. I'm leaving them though. I'm leaving them. Okay, this is a new one on me. Is this a Bose blanket? I wonder if it's like a sticker cover or something. That's interesting. Hmm. So all of the clothes and shoes ended up being half price in there. So I did go ahead and pick up both of those Minnetonkas, which I actually just shipped out um, the matching fringe black Minnetonka leather jacket for $75 a few days ago. And those on clouds, I'll definitely be able to make some decent money on those too. Anyways, I think I'm gonna regret picking up some of these things because shipping all this stuff back is gonna be a pain in the butt. I honestly might buy a suitcase somewhere, but I haven't really decided yet. Decisions, decisions. I'm too blind for this right now. Thrift store number two. This is interesting. They have a lot of furniture and stuff sitting outside. I guess they can get away with that here in Florida. But it rains so much. I don't know. Maybe they pull this out. I mean, it's covered. I hope this isn't all furniture. It might be just all furniture. Oh, no. Here we go. Looks like we have some goods. Oh, and it says more upstairs. No, I'm just looking. Thank you. Is it just all furniture upstairs? Dressers, there's mirrors, there's lots of art, pictures, and okay. things like that. Okay, thank you. 
see if there's anything out here in this little area here. Hmm. This is interesting. Strange, but interesting. Ooh, Downton Abbey. <laughs> I watched this, so shout out to all my other Downton Abbey fans. It looks like the Downton Abbey box set sells for about 20 bucks. Some of them for like 22 with free shipping, so that's not worth me fooling with. But if I were at a yard sale and that was like a dollar or two, I'd probably pick it up. Oh, I didn't think I realized they made Mickey or like Disney Squishmallows. At least I think this is a Squishmallow. It is a Squishmallow. I'm gonna have to look him up just to be sure. Some of these surprised me, but most of them aren't too great. Okay, that little eight inch Squishmallow is only selling for about $25 a day. So there's no way it's worth picking up used. Again, if I were to yard sell and it was like a dollar, I'd pick it up. There's a few decent little tailor-made clubs in here, but I do not even dare consider shipping those back. I think I've looked at everything there is to look at here. It's not a ton. I'm not gonna lie, but it was pretty fun digging just because it's been so long since I've been to yard sales. I really cannot wait for yard sales to start back. Hopefully I'm able to find a few tomorrow to get into. All right, there's stop number three for pet projects. Let's hope this one's better than the last. Please, please. Front door. Ooh, front door. Looks big. Well, look at this Tanala vase. Oh my gosh. Bucks, what? Man, that is. <laughs> that's really nice. I'm really sad to even think about leaving that behind. I love picking up Tanala pottery so much. I've never come across a vase that size. That is such a nice piece. Oh my gosh. I also saw this really cute little Santa up here. This little Neiman and Marcus Santa candle holder. I would pick this up too, but unfortunately somebody wrote on the back of it. So I'm going to leave that behind. But man, that vase, that is tempting. This is a pretty cool little camelback. It's called a Packster. It's a hydration pack, but it has all these extra pockets on the front. Fortunately, this size camelbacks normally just do not sell for more than 20 bucks anymore. You really need to find like the bigger ones. This is cool though, really cool. I'm gonna look it up just to make sure, but I'm guessing like 20 bucks. It's like it last sold for $15. This is one of those situations, again, that if it were to yard sale, it would be worth picking up, but definitely not eight bucks at a, at a thrift store. This is why I'm obsessed with yard sales and don't care for thrift stores so much. And this place is packed. Like if you were a close person, it'd really be worth digging through all this stuff. A lot of their stuff is really reasonably priced. I come across a lot of like 30-ish dollar items. Like that vase I looked up and it last sold for about 30, I think. Maybe it was 40, I don't even remember already. But you know, obviously I'm traveling so I have to be very choosy. And these are some really nice sketchers, but I'm not packing those heavy bad boys home. I'm not the biggest fan of sketchers, but these are really nice boots. They're honestly, I don't even see a price. I don't know if their shoes are a standard price, but I'm not even gonna ask because they're heavy and my space is already limited and I haven't hit yard sales. Wow, those are wild. I'm not sure what that says, but those are some, those are some interesting shoes. We'll just leave it in that. Okay, we did not find anything worth packing home in that store. On to the next one. How cute is this little area? Palm trees all down the street. I think the thrift store I'm going to is over there in that building right here, but first I have to feed my first meter. This is definitely the cutest little area I have been to. Where are we going? Rugs, that's not it. Well, heck, where is this place? So it looks like this little place behind me is where I was going, Fountains of Something thrift store. But it looks like there's something over there that has vintage all over the window. So since we're already here and already have the parking, we can go check that out. So this is like an upscale used place that has trinkets, clothes, all kinds of stuff. Check these out. I've never seen this before in my life. They're Lucky Charm, Nike, tennis shoes. And they're priced at the bargain price of $299. Now I looked them up really quick before I turned the camera on. And there are some orange ones also. And these that have sold for around 250 bucks. 
So those are super cool. Future reference if you come across these for a reasonable price. They sell for crazy money. This place is wild and crazy, crazy expensive. Like everything. But they have some nice stuff. Some Givenchy boots for 500 bucks. Can't believe this is what fashion has um, evolved into. Yikes. I thought this was overpriced at 30 bucks, but it's actually $300. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, that's for the set of eight. They're beautiful, but holy cow. 300 bucks. That place was absolutely insane. They had some really cool stuff, but I don't think I've seen prices like that anywhere. Even, that's higher price than any antique mall I've ever seen. They did have nice stuff though. Oh man. I guess after the day I had yesterday, I was hoping to follow it up with an equally good day. Well, not equally, but even close. All I found so far is some shoes. Come on, day. I'm honestly thinking about buying one of these pieces of luggage. 25 bucks. I feel like I need like a jumbo size. Like this. Rome. 20 bucks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that seems a bit excessive, but considering what all I have so far, Oh no, that's massive. This is like half of me. Like I could legit fit inside of this suitcase. But it would hold all my stuff if I find anything else good. Mm, okay, the wheels work. And really for 20 bucks, by the time I buy a box and tape, like I was just gonna ship all of my clothes and things out of my suitcase home and then put most of the stuff that I purchased in my luggage. But those Barbies are kind of big, honestly. <laughs> So anyways, by the time I buy the box and tape, that's gonna be probably 10 bucks, so I'll probably buy two boxes at this point already. So I might be better off just doing this and then I won't have to fool with going to like UPS or whatever and shipping it off. I think I'm gonna do it. All right, you guys, I bought this huge flipping suitcase. At least now I know that I will be able to fit everything I bought so far and I'm gonna be able to continue shopping. So it's a win-win, am I right? Since you're wondering what I'm having for lunch today, don't lie, I know you were one to know that. I'm having pineapple, dill pickle bites, cashews, and pepperoni cheese sticks. That's what you call a lunch of champions. All right, we're about to head in this little bitty hole in the wall. Is it called gifts and more? Thrift gifts and more. Let's see if we can find anything. I'm having a pretty crappy day compared to yesterday, so I'm really hoping I can find something else. Cause I only have about one or two more thrift stops in before I before I call it a day and then I'll catch you guys at yard sales tomorrow. This little belt looks super interesting with the fish. Hook and hide, made in USA. Never heard of this brand before. Looks like it's 10 bucks. I'm gonna look into this. Besides the fact that it's super cool, made in USA is always a, a good sign. So there's none of these um, belts currently listed or sold on eBay, but I went ahead and did a Terapeak search, which shows me the last 12 months instead of just the last three months. And it looks like this um, exact belt last sold for 69 bucks in a really small size. So I'm definitely down to pay 10 bucks and this will fit in my suitcase very nicely. All right guys, so I have been to a few yard sales this morning and honestly, it's not even worth showing you all. I've just pulled into this interesting looking little swap meet. I think they have an indoor area and I can see some people setting up outside. We're a little early, they don't open for another 30 minutes, but I've seen some people walk on in. So I'm gonna go check it out, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because for one, I guess just because I don't know what to expect and I've never been here and uncertainty always gives me a little bit of jitters, but a lot of these flea market type setups tend to charge higher prices with the expectation that people are gonna come in and haggle. So I don't know, I don't know. It's always good to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, so I'm gonna give it a go. Hopefully, hopefully we find something. Let's just go check it out and see what happens. I honestly just don't even know where to start right now, you guys. Oh man. Look at this. I'm overwhelmed immediately. Hi. Good morning, love. How are you? All right, sweetheart. Good. Those look like nice headphones. Yes. Um, Sony's. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, everything I have is earbuds, technology stuff. Yeah. Speakers, headphones, you know, stuff like that. 
How much are the headphones? These right here, $10. $10. Mm -hmm. They have change for 100 Nope. Yeah, you can just give me the two little dollars you got. You'll be open. It's not like I don't know you're going to store it. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to take care. <laughs> yep, you know you guys supported me at the store, so it's not yeah. like you did. <laughs> you welcome, baby. You welcome. <laughs> I think I should have brought me a bag. <laughs> I got a bag. Do got you? Bag. Okay, this is. Everybody's stuff, don't worry. Uh. Mm -hmm. Gotta know Thank how to Bluetooth, okay? I'll figure I got it out. People <laughs> call me. D, I don't know how to turn it. You gotta know how to Bluetooth, and I come here. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> we on technology. All right. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your day. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. It's hard to just look stuff up when they're standing right there. But it looks like these headphones are selling for 50 mo. Those sold for 70. Hmm. So I have a feeling that these headphones were not legit just simply because they were 10 bucks and they're selling for 60 to 100. But I'm gonna look into them to see if I should go back over there and grab some more. Chances are they're not legit just being in a flea market and because of a good deal. All right, so I've literally been here for like three minutes and I just got yelled at by this lady. I was just talking to you guys about those headphones and she started yelling, hey, don't be recording people's stuff. Don't you be doing that. And I told her I was recording myself and she did not believe me. She's like, no, I saw you, I saw you. So that's not a very good way to start my freaking day. I just picked up these Hoka's for five bucks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little paranoid now. That lady has me like, worried about turning the camera back on. Oh my gosh. These people are arguing right here because she had something in her hand near the lady's table. This place is hostile. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling this at all. All right, I'm aborting this flea market. I feel super uncomfortable now after getting yelled at two minutes in and then seeing those other people fighting. It smells like pot everywhere. I don't know. I just feel very uncomfortable. And so, yeah. I think I just picked the wrong flea market to dip my toes in the water. I am going to spend a couple minutes looking up these headphones to see if I can tell if they're legit. I'm guessing because they're 10 bucks and they sell for 60 plus that they're probably not legit. But just in case they are, I'm going to look them up. I'll walk back over there and get the other ones maybe if I can put my big girl panties back on, I guess. So now that I'm back in the car, I'm looking at these more closely and you can see that under this plastic here, there's tape and this little rip so the packaging might be legit but this has definitely been resealed so it looks like i bought some fake headphones for 10 bucks good thing i only paid 10 dollars for them man that was not my cup of tea oh my gosh like i'm a sensitive person in general so getting yelled at is just not my favorite thing like i understand not wanting to be recorded like people all like there's people that ask not to be recorded and I understand like, hey, don't record or hey, what are you doing? But like I had, I just had my phone out and I was talking. I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. So I guess she could have just been nicer about it instead of like literally screaming at me. And then I told her I wasn't and she kept saying, yes, you are. I'm, oh, I'm, I don't even want to get into it. All right, I'm just going to go. I also didn't mention that first thing this morning, my key card did not work. I had to get a new key card. So I'm waiting in line behind the sky. He turns around and sees me and he looks me up and down and he's like oh you remind me of my kids that buy good jeans and cut the knees out of them he's like i'll never understand that and i'm just standing there like dumbfounded that like strangers continuously comment on like i know it's always holy jeans to get people but like keep those comments to yourself like i don't need to hear that the lady at the the lady at the desk was like what did he just say to you If you're one of those people that comments on other people's bodies, clothes, appearance, any of those things in general, um, even in my comment section, just an FYI, you are the problem, not the person whose clothes you do not like. We don't care if you don't like our clothes. Keep it to yourself. It just shows what kind of person you are. So, there's that. And there's so many more people coming in with, like, trailers of stuff. Like, I know there's good stuff to be had in there. I just don't think it's worth it for me to go back in. Okay, so part of my 2023 reboot better me is not letting people get to me so i decided to go back in i don't know why i guess because i'm trying to be brave 
<laughs> I mean, just to put it frankly, I'm an anxious person. I'm a sensitive person, and that kind of got to me, but I'm proving that I can go back in. Even if I don't find anything, at least I'll uh, know I went back in. Okay, even if I only came back in and walked through one more row, I did just snag a good pair of boots. These are Polo Ralph Lauren Ranger boots, and they look a little beat up. They just need a nice polish. But these are pretty decent, nice little vintage pair of boots here. So looky there, being a big girl paid off. I came back in and was able to snag one more thing. All right guys, this is where I'm going to leave you all today. I am back home in Kentucky now, but don't worry. I do have one more video coming to you guys from Florida. The next one is going to be picking garage sales in Fort Lauderdale. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I'll see you guys next Thursday.